Kite surfing is one of those sports where, you know, you can't just rock down to the beach and just connect yourself to this kite and throw the thing up in the air and expect to, you know, have complete control over it. You got to kind of go through the steps. I recommend everybody that wants to get into it take a lesson, you know, and and not always from from your friend either, because your friends, you know, usually the kind of guy who just goes, oh, come on here, let's go, let's go do it, you know, and here, just connect to this. That's. You know, like, like myself, you know, that's how I learned. My friend's like, hey, yeah, come on, just, you know, hook up to this and let's go. And we made all the mistakes that, you know, we don't want other people to make. So, yeah, take a lesson and th for the most part, they're gonna break it down for you and they're gonna keep you out of trouble. The sport's become a lot safer in the last five years with the introduction of the kites that actually depower quickly. And uh, before that, it was just like, you know, a roll of the dice. You know, as soon as you launched the kite back then, it, it was powering and you just have to go with it. And uh, there were a lot more accidents than, than there are now, despite the fact that there's actually way more people that are doing it now. now the, the farther we get into this, uh, in the sporting industries, um, we're able to draw from all these other sports and all these other manufacturing techniques and, and everybody's learning from everybody. You know, we're learning from the surfing, from the windsurfing, from the you know shoe manufacturers, from uh, all the guys that are really just sort of pushing the um, you know the envelope in manufacturing, and so you know kite surfing is no different. We've been able to um, progress the sport through materials, and, and uh, it's become so much more refined. I mean, I remember when we first started this sport, there was absolutely nothing, you know, and we're you know scouring the earth trying to find just a kite or a control system, and you know you're left to your re resources. And we have guys here that were like making control bars out of guava branches and it, and it was like that, that's what it was and now it's you know carbon fiber and all these exotic materials that come into play and you know a lot of molded parts and and uh, it's 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 a lot better it's, it's it's way way better so it's come a long way I mean it's gotten to the point now where if my wife and eventually my daughter my you know very young daughter want to do it then yeah I'd, I'd feel good with them doing it you know